Hey guys, it's me, MKC. I'm back with another video. Today I have uh, for you guys so uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto device from a company called Car Puride. And uh, this is model W903 Pro. Well, this is not my first uh, CarPlay device. I had uh, from a company called Podofo and uh, some other no names and i have actually a whole head unit in my in my lexus but uh, all of those what i bought on aliexpress yeah here's here's one of them that's the latest one this is 11.3 inches this one still sort of works but the screen like it's shaking on it and stuff i'll show you later so i did go and buy one which is actually sold on Amazon and have a good reviews and now uh, it's actually seems to be as a reputable company because uh, all of those what I had before they sort of pack up or uh, either start shaking screen or they just don't turn on anymore well with that said let's open this one all right so we'll break the seal and as I'm opening that, I will tell you, but they do claim to have an IPS touchscreen with Bluetooth, AUX, TF card, audio, video, voice control, Android Auto, AirPlay, CarPlay, and MirrorLink, wireless, Bluetooth 5.0, and a music player, some sort of some sort of music player wrap right let's open this okay huh is it small i swear god this is supposed to be as well 11 inches Looks more like ten point something, but well, let's see the AliExpress one. So this is this looks smaller, but this have a thicker thicker little bezels, bigger bezels. Let's see the bezel thickness. Now that the bezels are the same. Yeah, this is smaller screen. This is smaller screen. All right. Well, it's not end of the world. Well, from from the bath, we can see they have actual card installed already. So, so we have a Type C. We have our AVN, that's for reverse camera. We have uh, our SD card in, and we got the uh, AUX. And that's all for IO. The camera goes up, down, it turns sideways, and it's got a small joint here, so you can, you can adjust it as you need it. That's, that's kind of cool. Uh, in terms of buttons, we have a one power button. That's all. Let's put this one on side. What we got in the box? We should have... Alright, so this is the suction cup holder. It's black on the bottom. So you get this protective sleeve on it. Oh, that's very sticky. And here's one mechanism. You lose that, it goes like this. Here's another one. And it's extends. And then you have a, your bow joint here. And it does connect to your unit uh, like so. Right, it goes in here 
Oh, that's it. That's in there. It doesn't go nowhere. And then you can just slide it off. one mount here is the other style this is if you want to permanently mount it in your vehicle is this one you can it's soft rubber you can put screws through it it's got the same mount here you lose the screw you can move it slightly up and down like that and it comes with Oh, that, that is strong adhesive. It smells very strong. But uh, I know this smell. I have a double-sided tape like this, and now uh, you can you can basically warm on TV with this tape. It's very strong. Please don't do that. I was just joking. But it is strong tape, but don't warm on, warm on to your TV with it. Uh, it comes with a reverse camera. And lots of cables, and that's AV jack. And it's come with mounting hardware and a 3M sticker. So it's double sided 3M tape on it. That's the camera. And we have a auxiliary jack, so it's aux. We've got a metal plate which you can stick to your dash or wherever and uh, or screw it in if you want to and uh, you can put your mount on it and we have a our power cable which is with included a USB pass through and uh, where's the rating? So this does uh, input 12 to 24 volts and outputs 5 volts 2 amperes over the USB output line 5 volts 3 amperes and it's got FM in it so I guess this is used as well as the antenna for the FM transmitter and this is good they have a, a angled connector so it's like goes in you can hide the cables nicely <clears throat> one thing what I would uh, what I would like to try is uh, when you connect this one so with the old unit you might, if you power that and you run the uh, auxiliary cable from it to your head unit you could hear a uh, alternator like a uh, whining so let's see let's see about this one if they did differently All right, let's put that back and the last thing here is our manual. Alright. Well, it's kind of, kind of kind of extensive manual here. Not bad. Alright. Now is the time to have a look how quick it's connects to to the device. I will be using my Samsung S21 for Android Auto and let's see how, how it will do Android Auto okay uh, it did actually show up straight away here uh, yeah okay let's pair it All right, bear. Mm. And we are in. Now let's go for Apple CarPlay. Let's see how quick it can connect. Open the Bluetooth. All right. And. Waiting to find the device. Mm. 
and there it is all right connect pair no contacts use apple carplay and we are in as you can see the apple carplay looks way smoother than uh, android auto but uh, it's probably because i'm using new reform for that the old samsung s21 ultra i don't know if it's up to snuff but yeah this is so uh, Apple CarPlay. So that was Apple Car CarPlay and uh, Android Auto, and now I would like to have a look on the on the SD card, because so uh, it did come with sixty four gigs, but I would like to put uh, two hundred fifty gig gigabytes, and hopefully it will accept the size but I think it should be all right. Oh yeah, it's reading the card. Yeah. Oh, good deal. Look. All right. It's actually accepting recordings from my previous device. Not bad. <coughs> Did accept it, not a problem. Okay, so let's have a look on those uh, other things that are here. We got a uh, AirPlay, that's for iPhone, not gonna try that, but uh, Superlink. And playback, we just been there. That's very sensitive. You just been in a playback audio output you choose if you want aux fm bluetooth or speaker built-in speaker and let's try wi-fi audio yeah and that will give you this qr code and uh, if you scan the qr code scan the qr code it will give you up i already have a pre-installed up but i will scan it for you guys yeah we will take you to google play i already have the up and it found the device do connect now we need to connect to the wi-fi of the device Okay, hurry up. Connect that. Just connect that. And yeah, so it's connected. Now you press back on your phone and it gives you access to the to the camera. Okay, so that's a uh, Wi-Fi video. Let's have a look. Let's have a look on the other app, which is uh, all right. The other app what we have here it's Superlink. I'll confirm, and again you get the QR code. You scan your QR code. And open link, I will go to Google Play and it gives you this up Eve link. Open and a device, Wi Fi Direct connected. All right, and then so it gives you now online video and 
permission, okay. And you have all these there. Not sure how that works exactly, but yeah. Install and you basically then ask you to install the applications on your phone. Ah, oh, something like a TikTok. This is a Spanish one. <laughs> okay, that's a Spanish TikTok. Never mind. How do I get out from here? Home. Home. Here. YouTube. So that you go on YouTube. Okay, mirror casting is basically cast your phone. Whatever you have on your screen, it will cast on the device. Like that. Uh, let's get out from here. Here. Then you have an airdrop that lets you drop in images from your phone. Don't know why would you want to do that, but yeah. It lets you do that. Okay, so those are the apps outside of our Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Hey, doggo. And uh, let's have a look on settings, what we can set up there. So we got our, on, on the general, we have a screensaver. So it's 10 seconds or 30 seconds, which will just project black screen. You can choose position. Oh, it's a super link, it's gonna be. Oh, well, disconnect Wi Fi and it should. Okay, now it lets, let, you, let you choose if you want this menu on the left or, or right. I mean, when you get an Apple CarPlay, so the, the menu will be here or will be there. Split screen mode. That's if you want to have a full screen mode or split screen so your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And on the right side would be camera. Brightness, you can choose auto mode. Or you can just adjust it manually. I will leave auto mode. Assistive touch, that's the button where I keep pressing. And here is your for cleaning connection, which I don't want to do now. Under camera, as a camera format, that's for a reverse camera. You can choose 1080p or 1080n, 720n, 720p. Record resolution for the dash cam up to 4K, lowest is for 720p. Segment duration, one minute three or five minutes collision sensitivity microphone that would be on or off rear mirror image or on off or off or on parking monitor you can do when you park up so it's like a <clears throat> and you have a wire this one to uh, constant power it would be recording when somebody interact with your car and stuff. And uh, reverse lines, you can set them up as you need when you have connected the reverse camera. All right, that's under camera system. Gives us languages as so English, I believe Russian, Espanol. Sound, so this beeping sound, you can turn it off. Date and time. Storage info it tells you how big your card is and how much space you have left. You can format it and factory reset and firmware version. 
So that's for the settings. And, and that's all what I can show you from the comfort of my home. Now I will go in my car and I will do some uh, recording. Oh, I will try to record uh, how the camera records through day and uh, how it works at night. I will see you in my car.